Hello, I am so glad you joined me today for this video and I hope it's a way for you to work out when we can't be together today or any day. This is my um, fitness room and yes, I'm a big Broncos fan, a Peyton Manning fan, so that's what's on the wall behind me. But I just want us to spend this time as if we were out of doors um, in the park like we normally are. And maybe you um, will be doing this video on your deck, in your yard, wherever is comfortable for you. So let's just spend some time together working on our strength, our relaxation, and our balance. So again, stand about hip distance apart. Spread your toes touching the earth. Open the chest. Relax your pelvis. You don't want to tuck under, but you just want to think of that tailbone being relaxed. Think of your head lifting to the heavens as if you were a hot air balloon about ready to take off, but at the same time feeling very grounded to the earth. Soften the knees and open that chest, bringing in energy, a new breath, a new beginning with each breath and really letting your body feel the moment. Let's begin by taking a nice breath up and then let's soften and sink it. So just take a few breaths in to bring yourself into the moment. Don't worry about anything that you have to do today or even in the next hour. Just think about the here and now of pulling that energy in, bringing yourself to a more calmer state, and just relaxing. Breath in. If you want to cleanse, let that breath go. Just feel that energy around you, pulling it, softening, just a little gentle flow throughout your body. Now let's scoop that energy up. Let's just take it up to our chest and push it down. So just imagine a blue light of energy lifting and lowering, waking up all those internal organs, your digestive organs, your heart, your lungs, just having everything work calmly, smoothly, efficiently throughout your body. Just breathe in and let it go. Now let's take it all the way up this time. Breathe up, exhale, push out and around. Bring it up again, breath, and exhale out and around. Now just bring the arms up with just a gentle lift as if a nice, beautiful bird feather drifted above you and dropped to the ground. Good. Breath. Good. Now just shake everything out. Maybe you're doing this in the morning when you just woke up or at the end of the day when you've been moving all day and your muscles are tired or sore or stiff. Just kind of do some little free form moving, kind of your, your own um, silly Tai Chi movements that just get you limbered up. Maybe your back needs a little extra stretching and just kind of shake everything out. Get started get moving for the day. Now let's do our Tai Chi tap. I'm mirroring you, so I'm gonna start with my right arm and we're gonna go up and down. So Tai Chi tap helps to bring the blood flow to the surface of the skin and at the same time wakes everything up and stimulates the entire arm. And then over to your chest, really open. Good, and down the other arm. Just tapping up and down, usually three times on each side or each area is sufficient. All right, let's go down to our abdomen, all of our internal organs, waking them up, bringing blood flow. Don't forget your kidneys and lower back. Very good. And come back around across the hips. So let's go down the inner thigh and up the upper thigh. You do it with a little chopping motion. Just down, good, and up. Once again, and just up. Now let's do the tops of the legs. Don't forget your tops of your feet and up the back of your legs. Go all the way up to your hip, cross over and come back down. Good, very good. All right, then we can come 
come back through the abdomen, the chest. And let's go up to um, the shoulders, the base of your neck, and just tap along your spine, your cervical spine, your neck, and then up into um, your skull, stimulating your hair follicles, bringing blood flow and energy to them, and it just feels good. Let's go to our forehead, little taps on the forehead, maybe go under the brow to your temples and underneath the eyes um, on your sinus passages, a great way to loosen up those sinus passages and to the cheek, and the jaw, and then don't forget under your nose, the top of your lip and your chin. Work your way back to your ears and just knead the ears any other place that feels like it needs a little bit of attention and then let it go. Stay here for a minute, eyes closed, and just breathe and feel the stimulation. Feel the blood flow head to toe. Think about how different this is than it was a few moments ago. Good. Let's open our eyes. Breath up. And let's sink that energy once more. Pull it up and in and bring it down. Now let's shift your weight to the left and to the right. So right now as we're beginning to do some movements in the lower body and the feet, remembering to keep your body as one unit. You want to keep the shoulders over the hips as one column as you move. Now this is different than like leaning, okay? So this movement begins from the Dantian, which is about two inches above your belly button, but more importantly, your center, your core, you're moving from the pelvis. So that's where the movement is initiated uh, when you're doing your Qigong, your Tai Chi, even your yoga. So just move side to side. Very good. Now this time as we shift to the left, turn your toes, your left toe toward me and your right toe out in a bow step. And now just shift into it and back. So you're shifting to the right and back. Very good. See how my body is still staying in between my legs. Now let's do a nice wave. Just imagine, big breath in, and then just exhale and push that wave of energy out. So once again, transferring weight, we're just really open the chest and push. So you're going to inhale and exhale. In and exhale. So when we breathe in, when the arms are expanded, the chest has plenty of room, the lungs have plenty of space to take in the oxygen, and as you exhale, you push it away. Breath in and out. Very good. Breathe. Exhale. Breath in. Good. Once again. Now stay forward. We're just going to bring your arms to the middle, elbows relaxed. Close your right foot, shift right. Open your left foot. Get your weight shift side to side. Let's do those waves again. Breathe in and exhale. Breath and let it go. So just a nice fluid. You can just imagine that you were a wave in the ocean coming to shore and you just Feel that big wave, and then it pushes and relaxes out. Big breathe in. Good. Breath. And out. Breathe. Once more. Very good. Now stay here. Come to the center and close. Now let's bring the arms down right about your waist, right at your belly button. Shoulders are relaxed. Just imagine... You are holding this ball of energy just in and out. Feel the tingling between your hands as you have this sphere, this cloud, this energy, and just hold it. Now bring your left arm on top and then shift with the right arm on top. Good, shifting over and over. Good, now stay here. Let's take that right arm up, separate heaven and earth. Right arm goes up, and as it comes down, you squeeze that energy, and then lift up again, and squeeze. This is called heaven and earth. Breath up. Together. Good. Breathe up. 
Good breath. Very good. Now we have that left arm on top. Stay here, shifting the weight to the left. Turn that right uh, foot out. And we're going to do our Tai Chi move called um, par, uh, parting the main. So bring your left arm down, right arm up, and you shift over. Bring both arms down, round up by your ear. Turn and part the main. So it's just a very gentle rotation in the waist. And a beautiful movement. A lot of the movements begin with this parting the main. Breath up. Good. Breath. Now from here, bring the right arm in, close the right foot, shift left, let's part the main to the left. So just part the main left, bring the arms down and up, a little rotation, the spiral in your waist, and part the main breath. Good. Again. Just a nice breath in. Good. Once again. Let's come back to the center, close left, shift and open right. So we're going to part the main, and then we're going to come back to the center and go to the left. So close, shift to the left. Good. Center, shift to the right, and breath in, shift, and left. One more. And to the left. Good. And back to the center. Separate heaven and earth left. And exhale, close. And again. And go ahead and bring that left arm. Now I'd like for you to just go ahead and roll forward a bit. Close into your body. Just roll and let your upper body hang. So right now, your weight is between your arches and your uh, your arches and your balls of your feet and you're just letting the gravity pull you down giving you a nice little gentle stretch in the back we're just warming up so don't make that stretch um, very deep eyes open pull your belly button in as you soften the knees think of uncurling your spine stacking it one vertebrae at a time and then open to the right wise owl turns her head turn your palms forward Turning to the right, stretch your neck, looking behind you. Good. Now soften and curl gently close in and forward. As far as you're comfortable, maybe you're a little more warmed up. And uncurl. And turn to the left. Good. Soften once again. Close in to the right. Just hang and let it stretch. Uncurl, eyes open, belly button in to assist the uncurl. And turn to the right. Good. Now soften again. And curl down. And uncurl. And to the left. Very good and relax. Just kind of shake that out. Once again, moving a little bit. And we're going to come back in. Breath up. And soften. And let's scoop. And down. Shifting the weight to the left. Let's go back into our sphere, turning to the right. We're going to part the main. Now, this is called grabbing the bird by the tail bringing that left arm up as if you were holding a gentle little bird's nest. Bring that nest down by your left hip and up by your ear. Turn back, spread your fingers palm to palm and press forward as if you were a gentle little baby bird getting ready to fly out of the nest. Come back in palm over palm and push it away. Very good. Come to center. We're going to go to the other side. So right arm on top, part the main. Bring those arms up into your gentle little bird's nest. Come down around your hip. 
a rotation in your spiral. Good, palm over palm and push away. And let's do it again each side. So part the mane as you shift to the right. Bird's nest, arms down and around and up. Wrist to wrist, palm over palm, and let it go. Very good, and to center. Turn, palm up, and down, good, palm over palm, and let it go, and come back to the centers, pull that energy in, this time scoop it out all around, I want you to interlock your fingers behind you if you can, and just open the chest, turn your face forward up to the top of the tree or the ceiling and just feel that wonderful pull in the shoulders and in the stretch. And you can add to this a little hip flexor push, so pushing your hip flexors forward. And then you're opening up all these muscle groups and joints in the front of your body. Very good. And release. Let's go back to um, our spear, shifting our weight to on the left side. Bring that right leg in. Turn your body slightly left. We're gonna do our heavenly hands, cloud hands. So bring the right arm up as you begin to step out to the right and just spiral in your body to the right. Shifting the weight right, bring your left foot in and turn back to the left. Beautiful movement for relaxing and breathing. Just rest your tongue on the roof of your mouth eyes gazing into the palms of your hands and just move little bitty steps good one more time we're going three to the right and together and we'll do one in transition and let's go to the left just little steps as you just bring that energy relax Eyes focus, just breathe. Good. And just do a few movements in place. To the center. Good. Bring that energy together. Breath up. And exhale. Go ahead once again and roll down. And just let yourself hang. Just feel that good stretch. I'm going to turn sideways. You can kind of see how we're making a, a letter C. Your body is close in. Weight right about your arches. Now I'd like you to put your hands on your thighs, begin to straighten your knees, and as you do, extend your backside out and flatten your back. So the legs aren't locked, but they're straight, so you're getting a wonderful stretch down the hamstrings, the back of your body. Hands are on your thighs, not your knees. Back is flat, and the weight is definitely more toward the heels. Eyes gazing in and out for a wonderful stretch through the hips, through the lower back, and down the back of the legs. Now from this, bend the knees, drop your seat, begin to round your body in, and your weights more forward toward the arches and the balls. Good stretch through your spine, breath. Then exhale and extend and push it back out straight. Good. Good, let's do one more of these. So bend and soften and round. Just breathe in normally. Take your breath and exhale and flatten out. There you go. Now from here, just slide your elbows down into your quads and just bend into a, a seated position as if you were getting ready to sit down. You can keep your hands up on your thighs as well. Try not to look forward 
at me and the camera, look down at the floor. Just let that weight be in your heels. This is a good strengthening endurance for the quads and really important as we get older to keep those muscles engaged and strong so that we may remain independent. Very good. I would like you to shift all the weight to your right foot. When I say all, let's say 70-30%. You can lift your left heel just a little bit. Let's hold there for a second. And now just do the same, but shift over to the left side, living, lifting that right heel. Very good. Come back to the center, hands to your thighs. Drop your seat, uncurl. And as you come together, once you bring your legs together, put your hands in your lower back, open your chest and push those hip flexors forward. Good, stretch them out. Very good, all right, shake that out. And let's just begin to do our bow and arrow sequence. So we're just gonna shift and let's bring the arms back like a bow shift over. So as we're doing this, we're beginning to work on weight transfer, balance transfer, and it gives you a chance to practice how you need to move to be be best, the best at your balance that you can be. By that I mean you may need to adjust your abs, your quads, how wide or together your legs are. This gives you that opportunity to do that when you're practicing. Very good. So this time I want you to bring that right foot in into a T-step and then step back out. So our goal is to do this as smoothly and as fluidly as we can, letting it flow without any jerky, unbalanced feeling. It gives you a chance to adjust, bend your knees more, pull the abs in, whatever you feel you need to do. Now let's add a knee. So let's go, we'll lift the right knee up. And if you're ready, if not, just keep it down to the tap and your left. So good. So imagine you were getting ready to pull your bow and shoot the arrow. Good, once again, just breathe. All right, we're gonna do one more each side. So be thinking of how strong you have your abs pulled in or your glutes. Let's come to our T-step. Stack your body, think of head over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Supported knee soft, and when you're ready, lift that knee and balance. And then let's release, very good the other side. And like me, you may have one knee that's better than the other or one hip, and that's okay too. So find your good focal point, and when you're ready, lift that knee. Very good, let's try it again. Get to the right, balance, adjust where you think you would be better this time. And release into the other side. Very good. And when you're ready, let's do a little fast kick. So just go boom. Doesn't have to be high. Just working on some fast twitch muscle fibers. Make sure your body knows how to react quickly. Um, when something comes along that you need to adjust your balance or your weight to keep from falling. Good. All right, let's try to balance now with the leg extended. So I like to start here instead of in the T-step, but you can do it either way. Toe out, get your balance. Feel where it feels best, abs tight. 
And when you're ready, lift that leg. Try to lift it without leaning, okay? Very good, release. And now the other side. So get balanced and stacked. And release. Remember, it's good to wobble. That helps you figure out where your balance is and how to uh, gain it back if you lose it. So that's your brain and your body working together to help keep you from falling. So those are all good things. Breath up. Soften. Let's curl down once more to be sure to stretch your back out. Very good. Eyes open. Uncurl. Chest open, eyes up, big open stretch. Very good. And release. Let's go ahead and do some of our yoga poses. So we're going to start facing to the right in your bow step. Turn your body right. And like I tell you in class, I mainly like to open mine a little bit wider. It gives me a little more stability. Turning your hips to the right. Making sure that you're driving and pushing that um, hip through so that it's getting a nice stretch. Body uplifted, arms up, and then pull those shoulder blades back and retract. Eyes gaze into the top of a tree or a ceiling. And just hold your pose and breathe. Just let your mind focus on four or five big, deep, Full, relaxing breaths. And let's release into a warrior two. The arms stretch like airplane wings, eyes gazing out over your middle finger, and breathe. And let's release into a reverse. So you want to extend your right arm up, left arm down, body nice and long. Feel the energy, the pull to the heavens and the pull to the earth. Reverse is kind of a yin and yang. You're caught in the middle of heaven and earth. Here you are. Stretch and feel that energy. And now let's release into a side bend or a triangle. So hand can be on your thigh as you reach and extend upward with a bent knee. You can also get down to your forearm or elbow. And those that want a little bit more challenging, straighten the leg, slide the hand down into a complete triangle. Looking up and breathe. release into um, a twist. So same thing with your side bend or your triangle, turn and twist toward the back. Good, now release down. Come back to the center, if your toes are slightly out, let your body roll down in a V. 
Your hands can be up on your thighs if that's easier. Eyes open, do bring your hands to your thighs, slowly uncurl. I want you to come up in a nice, beautiful mountain pose. Energy up, eyes up. I'm going to ask you to lift your heels. So you're going to be imbalanced. Squeezing your glutes, pulling your abs in for more support. Come up onto your balls of your feet. Very good. Now bring your hands together in front and then hands to heart. Good. Keep those heels up. Bend your knees just a bit. Good. And then drop the heels. Arms up. Bring your legs together. And just do a nice little rounded reaching up, kind of a modified salute to the sun, but just feel the energy lift as you just do a slight arch. Upward and outward. And release hands to heart. Bringing our arms down into our bow step to the left. Push that right hip through. Arms up. Breathe. Retract those shoulders down and back. And look up. Warrior One. Slow your breath down. And let's release into Warrior Two. Arms stretched flat out like airplane wings. Eyes over your middle finger. Breathe. And let's release into a reverse. So that energy to the heavens, energy to the earth. Feel the pull both directions. Let's release into our side bend. So hand, arm, look up, or forearm, elbow. More advanced, legs straight into a triangle. Just breathe. And now let's twist. So the opposite side to switch to the back. And let's release. To the center, a nice long stretch through your back. Again, hands can be on your thighs or down on your ankles, wherever you're comfortable. And then let's slowly uncurl. Do soften the knees as you uncurl. Right in and up. Bring those arms up in a nice big mountain pose. Big. But remember, still always keep your shoulders. There's always a little space or air. Um, I think a lot of mistakes people make is 
do this. You want to keep those shoulder blades retracted and reaching up. Very good. Roll up onto the balls of your feet. Balance and stretch. Very good. Palms together. Hands to heart. Bend those knees. Still keep those heels up. I want you to straighten and lower three times up. Still got those heels up, barely off the floor, but contracting those calves and release. Lower, good, shake it out. Very good, breathe. Good, let's soften. Once again, breath out. Very good. Scoop. Let's open our legs just a little bit. Breath in. Once more. You should shift the weight to your left and just tap that right leg slightly out in front of you left arm up, lean forward. This is called needle at the bottom of the C, but just imagine you were touching your fingertips right along the top of water. You see your reflection, but then that disappears as you swirl and change it. Breath up, just like things in life may appear to be one way, but they turn out to be something different. Let that Shoulder just slowly swirl. And come back up. Now we're going to do one other movement called Golden Rooster. So you're going to take your right arm, bring it back up as you pull the knee in, right knee up. Step out, breath in, left. Same thing, right. Left, last set, right, and left, very good, arms up, be a beautiful soaring eagle or hawk or any other bird you want to be, just imagine you're freely moving, looking down at all the beauty of the earth and everything around it. Just lifting and flowing gently down. The air beneath your wings, the strength of your body, knowing that no matter where you are in life, what your health is, you can always be better. And you can always move and become stronger. Strength is something that's within us. We just have it and we use it and we work on making it even stronger. It can be any kind of strength, not just physical strength, but emotional, mental, spiritual. Last time, big beautiful bird flying. Just come together and let that feather float and land. Once again, breath. <sighs> Let it go. Cleanse your body. Stepping back out again, I want you to round forward. Turn your palms together and now bring your fingertips up and as you uncurl, you're going to slab those fingertips up toward the sky making a beautiful lotus flower type movement. Just imagine your flower opens and blooms. It's beautiful. Let's come down and scoop it up again. Whatever color flower you can imagine, just see it bloom right now. And that's the flower inside you that can bloom every single day. New strength, new energy a new chance to be better, 
stronger and more in tune with yourself and those around you. Just open that flower. Very good. Back to center, feet together, breath up. Come down, hands to heart. I want you to close your eyes. Just take a mental inventory of your body, what it feels like right now. Maybe you're tired, maybe you're perspiring. Maybe you feel calm and relaxed. Are all the above, invigorated, ready to meet a new day? With each breath is a new chance, a new beginning. And as you exhale, you're getting rid of the things that your body no longer needs. Disease, anguish, pain, stress, whatever is weighing you down. Just imagine your bright light inside like a candle burning with each breath you inhale. That beautiful bright light shines. And with each exhale, that candle wax just drips off of you and into the ground. And all those things we don't need are gone. Just breathe in. And exhale out. energy in and exhale let it go keep your jaw relaxed cleanse with a big deep cleansing breath if that feels good to you or just some slow easy breaths out the nose and the mouth really doesn't matter how you do some of these things. It's just that you take the time to slow your breath down, empty it completely, and with the next inhale, the next breath is fuller and bigger, more oxygen inside of your body. And when you exhale, that oxygen like light goes throughout every pore, every cell the bloodstream, enriching it, giving it all the things it needs to be the best version of itself. And you can be. Just let it go. Heavenly Father, thank you again for a beautiful day. Thank you for the earth in which we live and these glorious bodies that you've given us. And as we age and life takes its toll, I know our bodies become a bit broken here and there. But they're not, they're not spent, they're not gone. With that comes the opportunity to grow in new ways, to get stronger in new places, and continue to be the best versions of ourselves no matter what we're going through. Be with those that can't be with us. And help us as we go out today and every day to be a beacon of your love, light, showing kindness, compassion, tolerance, and patience to each and every person that we meet and in the world that you created for us to live in. We ask these things in your Son Jesus' name. Amen. And namaste. And I hope you have a good week, and I will see you next time. Love to all.